uh, want to talk about uh, swearing or cussing uh, and how it relates to uh, lifting. Okay, it's so always got to tie it back to lifting. Fuck! Alright, that can be psyched up. Alright, so like, you know how people cuss when they lift? And uh, I do, I do all the time, so I get the shit, I fuck shit up. Shit! Motherfucker! <laughs> and uh, I think uh, it's, it's, uh, it's biological. It's uh, instinctual that we cuss, we cuss when we are attempting to lift heavy weights because we do it to trigger our emotions. Let me talk about the, the science of the psychology of cussing, swearing for, for a little bit, okay? So, uh, basically, uh, they did, uh, they put uh, people in, under MR, MRI skin and had people cuss and shit, right? And so basically, the, the emotional part of the brain, like the, the limbic system and the, uh, the ancient, more ancient part of the brain, lights up. That's why the cuss words are different than other languages. Up. You feel emotional, you feel angry almost, you feel a sense of a release. So basically when you resort back to cuss words, you're going back to your primal subconscious self. It's almost like the cuss words that reside in the subconscious. You know, it's, it's, it's there in the bank of your primal subconscious. When you're civilized, you know, you don't really use it. But when you become, become angry or become frustrated or become sexually aroused, you start using it. That's why people, when they're, when they're having sex, they start cussing it too, you know. Right? And this is because, like I said, cussing, cuss words light up a different part of your brain than normal speech or normal uh, vocabularies. So normal vocabularies uh, is processed on the left side of the brain, uh, rational, the more rational, you know, uh, layer of the brain, a language part, right? The, the newer part of the brain. But, but cuss words are activating the right brain, more ancient part of the brain. And then, uh, you know animals, you know when animals they, they go out to hunt or they, they run from prey, predators, or when they, when something, when, when something hits a cat, it goes, it hisses, or a dog, right? Yups, right? Animals do that, but, but people do it too. When you hit someone, they're gonna, they're gonna make a noise, and that noise is involuntary. It's instinctual, you don't think about it, you just, you just do it, you just say it. And uh, it happens that our language system of the brain it's, uh, it's there for, for, for us. So that's why when we get hit or something drops on our feet, when we get angry, we we'll automatically cuss. Cuss, sorry. So that is one proof that, you know, cussing is, it's, uh, the, 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 cussing, the, cuss, the cussing mechanism is res resided in the uh, instinctual part of the brain. That's this dog right here. Fuck it! Fuck, 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 fuck! Anyways. So, uh, okay, so that's why you should cuss when you lift. Like, you know, whether or not you cause the emotion by, you know, by cussing or the other way around, it, it works both ways. So let me give you an example, you know. Sometimes you feel an emotion first and then you cuss. A lot of times you cuss and then the emotion is revved up by the cuss word. And it's not just for cuss words. You know, they did, they did an experiment where they put people in the movie theaters and they play them a movie, a comedy. And then they record how much they were laughing and shit, okay? And then uh, they have a second group. And then the second group uh, beat a pencil. So that they, they uh, put a pencil in their mouth. Force them to uh, go into a, a smiling uh, facial expression the whole time. And guess what? They gave them the questionaries. And the, the second group of people found the movie to be funnier. And there's also another theory by the psychology that says when animals run, well, why do you run? Why do you run from a predator? Some psychologists said that you run first. There's an involuntary muscular uh, nervous system reaction that you, you start running and then you fear the emotion of fear. But I think it's both ways, it's a feedback loop. But the, the emotion can be triggered either by first making uh, an effort to trigger it as in putting a pencil in your mouth or start cussing or the other way around you feel like you need to psych yourself up and you start cussing but either way if you if you don't feel psyched up in, at the gym start cussing okay that's the first part of the video the second part of the video is still still about cuss words but i want to talk about the history of cussing uh, okay let me talk about three categories of cuss words of swear words the three categories are first 
are excrement. Excrement. Stuff like shit, piss. Uh, I wrote it down. Uh, excrement or body fluid, organs, which invokes disgust. The shit, piss, asshole, bloody crap. And there's supernatural, second category. Religions. Religious uh, customers that have to do with religious uh, uh, connotations, which evolves, uh, evokes awe, which is uh, damn, uh, Jesus Christ, Holy Mary, and hell. And then there's sex, which invokes uh, negative emotions, uh, or it turns turn to on. It's fuck, cunt, pussy, cock, dick, prick, blow, suck, cocksuckers, motherfucker, which invokes uh, emotion of incest, taboos, and shit. So then, uh, What's funny is that back in the days when uh, the Bible is still very uh, relevant, when people are all still pretty much religious, uh, people don't cuss any other way except for the religious part. They say damn you and they say you know, holy Mary and shit like that. Right? That's because you evoke fear. You evoke emotional fear by cussing that refer to stuff in the Bible, religious. But now we live in a secular society, so the cuss words are all transformed. You don't say damn you anymore or, you know, holy shit. You still say holy shit, I guess. But you know, you don't say Holy Mary, you don't, uh, you don't say, you know, uh, who the hell are you? I guess you do, but if you, people want to dig deeper, they want to evoke even more disgust, more emotional uh, response from you. They say, fuck you or holy fuck, instead of, you know, Holy Mary or who the hell are you becomes who the fuck are you. Turn off the damn light become you know, turn off the fucking light. Horny as hell becomes horny as a motherfucker. So that's the evolution of cuss words, right? And if you think about it, you know how I said that uh, cuss words are separated from the rational, the linguist, linguistic part of the brain, or at least partially separated. You know, the cuss words are actually really uh, ungrammatical. It doesn't really follow uh, gr grammatical structures, right? When you say fuck you, it's really fuck yourself.